Hello, I am Ragnarok, and welcome to The Reckoning. So today, we are doing Episode 3 of Age of Calamitous Mod playthrough for Conan Exiles. Uh, so last time, we built our base, our starter base, in the noob area. Um, we pretty much, we got really lucky with some thralling, and uh, we spent I spent some good amount of time there leveling and stuff like that. Uh, didn't do anything really exciting, did some more thralling, we ca captured some more... Uh, Level 2 and level 3 thralls. Didn't get any more name thralls, unfortunately. Um, but basically, we did a bunch of leveling there. We upgraded that base to the tier 3, um, which is the same as this new base. Um, and then after we got a little bit of level done, we got, we got basic mats over there. Uh, we moved over here to the jungle. So, uh, literally just finished a little earlier um, building a new base here in the jungle area. I'm going to show you on the map in a minute where we are. But, uh, yeah, we're going to do a little more exploring in the jungle area. Um, we're going to learn some recipes, uh, do a little bit more thralling, because we definitely need to get ourselves some name thralls. And we may do the jungle dungeon. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how, how fast we can get through this. All right, so uh, here we go. Let's play around. So as you can see, we have a little base. We're here in the jungle. I'll show you where we are on the map. So our other base was right here, down in the New River area. Uh, it's still there, like I said, and now we are over here. And the nice thing about this, and what I like about this, is that I was able to take a bunch of mats that I made over here to here. I was massively like five or six hundred percent encumbered or whatever it was. Um, I took uh, pretty much everything I could take with me. Um, and well, the reason we were able to do that is because normally you would have to roll the whole way. You're encumbered. You, you you know, a lot of people will, you walk really slow. So what they'll do is they'll roll until they run out of stamina. The nice thing about this is because I'm right here on the river, I just had to roll to the river. And then I basically put myself on auto run and I just kind of moved my mouse and I just stayed in the river the whole way. Because you move, and when you're swimming, you move a little faster than walking, but slower than running. So it took a while, but meh. Um, I don't have to roll the whole way and I didn't have to worry about being attacked. And then once I got here, I just put myself, put like a little chest down there. Um, one of the, these Royal chests right here that hold a crap load of stuff. Um, and I basically dumped most of it into two of the chests and then I made, built this place. Um, I pretty much at the other place, I built a mass amount of walls and all this stuff. So I took it with me. Um, so pretty much I didn't have to craft anything here for the most part, other than some of the the actual crafting stations themselves. But as you can see, we will... I'll take you through a quick tour. Um, oh, oh, no. Too far. I'll take you through a quick tour before we actually get into what we're doing. So right down here, we have our fishing stands. These are the advanced AOC fishing stands. Uh, the nice thing about them is... is Actually, let's show you first. So... Where is it? Here it is. So you get this at level 30. Um, you can craft these little s crab traps. Um, the crab traps only get, which I think I did last episode. I don't remember, though. Uh, this. You only get the, the AOC fish. So the crab, the fish, and the oysters from the little crab traps. Now, inside the crab trap, when you place one of the crab traps down, you can actually craft one of these stations with some shaped oak wood and steel reinforcements. So you actually have to craft it. That crab trap becomes a crafting station that makes these. Um, and you can make as many as you want. Once you make these, they actually get AOC fish and regular fish. So I just got rid of the crab trap. Um, and these things will store a crap load, as you can see. So this is the base. I try to make this one a little more defendable because we're going to have to basically... We're probably, while we're out here, we'll most likely get purged. Um... So I wanted something a little more defendable. So my main base is actually up there. This is pretty much all just defenses. And then I don't care if the purge actually destroys these things because they're cheap to make. Um, and all I do is lose a little fish. So we got some foundations with fences and stuff like that. So the purge, not that they climb, but. And I'll show you both sides of this first. Go around this side. And again, my base is up there. This is all just offenses. So we added some lights and stuff, some shapes. Um, again, these are all foundations. So 
You could technically do this on a PvP server. I probably wouldn't suggest it because a, tra a trebuchet would destroy this, and a, uh, an avatar would, or av yeah, avatar um, would destroy these really easy. But um, you could make it. You could put foundations around these pillars so people couldn't climb, um, and then you could line this with fences, and then basically nobody could climb up into your base. So the only thing you have to worry about is people blowing up the bottom piece, which would take a lot of resources. Um, again, I wouldn't really suggest building like this on a pvp server uh most likely you'll lose all your stuff but on pv meh all i have to worry do is do is worry about the the purge so i have a little i did windows here because if i put a spear guy a guy with a spear right behind this window they'll actually hit thralls on this side of the wall so that's kind of nice little platform up here i just did it like that for whatever um i was gonna put some stuff down here but then i decided against it and again, this is all you as you can see, this is all foundations. So the purge has to go through some decent stuff to get into my base. Um oh, yeah. So up here, I'll put some archers, they can shoot down like that. I'll probably put a bunch of like fighters down there and maybe on these walls and stuff to if they do break through. Um and again, archers can shoot down here. They can take this little staircase right here, and they can shoot. All, they'll be able to shoot down there on this while well, break it through. They'll be able to shoot all around here. So as far as archer positions, this is actually pretty good. The crenellated walls are really good. There's These are these broken walls. Um, as you can see, this, this is your normal fence right here. Um, but crenellated walls actually let archers shoot down better. They won't actually go over and fall, even though you could do it. Um, and then our actually base is right up here. So I decorated it a little bit. I just put some... Of the Stormhold uh, banners up. Just to give it a little color. Inside the base, again, this is a little bigger than we technically need. Um, we are at the level now where we can do improved stations. So improved blacksmith, improved carpentry, tanner, and stuff like that. Um, and we have, I brought some stuff from the base. Not much, just like, you know, a couple, a little bit of leather. Um, and we built up the side of the hill, as you can see. This little pillar. So we can get in here if we want. Get back. And same up here. We can get in here and get in there. Oops. And then up here we have a bunch of furnaces. Um, these are some of the... I think this is a... What, yeah, this is a tier 2 smelter. So, I mean, these are some of the extra ones I had from the other base. The lower the lower level ones I had. Because um, my other base has all tier 3s. But, as you can see, some cool stuff. Improved cauldrons. Torches bench, cooking station, stuff like that. Um, and then out here, we have to actually crouch to get through this because it's on a hill. So my bed is. My chest with my armor and my weapons. And then this is where the AOC crafting stations are, which is where we started. Um, that's all up here. And again, some more crenellated walls. An archer probably won't hit anything that far away, but I can put one or two up here if I really needed to. Um, this one I probably would, though. They might hit from this distance. But that's basically it. So well, let's get into it. Um, enough showing around. And the nice thing about the AOC, like this is tier three, um, but it's it's fairly easy to make. I mean, you just get a bunch of stone, you put it in the enchanting table. Uh, maybe I'll show you guys real quick in a little bit. Um, then you take the stone, you put it in the furnace, and you just turn it into brick. And then you put some steel, some uh, consolidant in there, and turns it into hardened brick. Done. Shaped wood is massively easy to make. Uh, let's go this way first. So the nice thing about this part of the map is there's nothing, there's nothing to fight here. Um, is if you get attacked by a purge, they only have to come from this side of the beach, this other side. Um, right here on this little peninsula is AOC Thralls. So Age of Calamitous Thralls. It's actually the Stormhold faction, which is actually kind of funny. Um, and it's at, they're actually spread out enough for the most part that you can actually... It's not too hard to capture some AOC Thralls. Um, so maybe we will probably go over there during this, If again, depending on how fast we get stuff done. Um, this is the jungle pirate ship. This is a really good place to go thralling. There's not a lot of named Thralls there, but you can get some leveling. And there are, there are some recipes to learn over here. Um... Where we're going to go right now is this area, this little gray spot right here on this island. Um, this is where you actually learn the Dakerta religion. Uh, and there are actually a good amount of named thralls that spawn there. 
So all I have to do is swim, cross this little thing, swim, cross the little thing. Um, the other thing about this area it's really good is there's a, there's a good amount of iron all in here. Stones here. Okay, I'm fine. I just want to make sure. I thought I was dying for a second. Um, trees in here and here. Um, in the water underneath, which I'll show when I get back if I remember, there's brimstone. You can actually find brimstone. And then there's gold. There's a lot of gold underwater here. Um, there's a silver mine over here. Again, not that far. And then both both creatures that give thick hide and light hide. Um, so pretty much, again, this is a perfect area. It's pretty centralized to a lot of different mats. Actually, can I... I was just curious if there was actually any brimstone where I am right now. I don't think there is. Let's see. No, there's not. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, there is. So you'll see the uh, on the other side of my base, there's a lot of these little air tubes. But you see this these little things right here? Brimstone. Brimstone. If, if you actually... I don't have my pick with me, but if you actually hit these with your pick, you'll actually, instead of getting, like, I'm getting, like, three per pick, you'll actually get whatever your act your pick gives you. Um, it's not going to be as much as, like, a full brimstone node, but you may get, like, with, like, a steel pick, maybe you'll get 15 instead of three. Um, well, I'm on a times three server, so technically you would get one there. Um, so you maybe you'll get, like, you know, seven or eight or nine or whatever. Um Instead of just one at a time, if you hit those little stones with your pick. They don't always work with the pick, um, but you will get more faster if you do it that way. So, a lot of people don't know that. They don't know the brimstone's right under there. Okay, and we're back. So, we're back We're back over to where... Uh, just used a little uh, speeding up a little bit so you don't have to actually watch the run over. Saves a couple seconds, right? Uh, so, now we're on this island. We're pretty much right in the middle. We just came across like this, climbed up right here. Um, you can see there's a thrall right there. So what I like to do is, again, PV server, so we can get away with this. Um, but you can technically build up, like, right over here. I wouldn't build up on the right side of this tree, because there's actually a thrall up there on the right side. Um, so if you can build up, maybe you can build up, like, over here on these edges. Oh, yeah, as you can see, someone built right there. There's a th wheel of pain. Um, that's, a v that's an actual vanilla um, standard uh, wheel of pain. We're going to do the nice Age of Calamus ones because we can pick them up, which is really nice. Let's put it right here. And we brought a, a Tier 2 Taskmaster. That will help speed up, although she's floating. That's kind of weird. Um, it's going to bug me. It's going to bug me if I leave it like that. Let's fix it. So all we do is it's because it's hovering on the ground right there, so we'll just press it into the ground like that. You just hold the Shift key on it. Well... On a PC, you would hold the shift key and scroll down. Um, on a console, I don't know what you would do. Still hovering a little bit, but you can't really tell that much. So we'll just leave it. And then, oh, I forgot to put food. Mm, I will put food in later. I'll get the food. So let's kill this guy first. Of course, he is a archer. What is he? Archer level one. Pass. All right. Let's kill this. the guys up here. Or, well, let's see if hopefully, hopefully it's a name thrall. Let's see if we're lucky like we were last video. Now, these spots commonly spawn a couple of different name thralls. So this is actually a one spot you can just check. That's why I build close to it, um, because you can check it over and over and over. Let's see. Level two, level one. Ugh. And I don't think it's just armors. I can't remember. I actually feel like an alchemist will spawn up here also. So, I think this one changes. Uh, the other thing about killing thralls in this part is that you can actually get a decent amount of resources. Um, they'll drop iron bars, weapons, and again, always skin. Get those coins, get that hide. At minimum, you'll want to use the hide um, to get, you know, just even if it's normal and you have thousands. I mean, I always end up with tens and hundreds of thousands of normal high, uh, leather. Um, I just dump most of it. A lot of times I'll just trash it on the ground. Uh, but you obviously, the more you use a tanner to get leather, the more leather you have, which means the more tar you have. And tar is essential to making steel. The good thing about the jungle area is they actually don't hit hard. I mean, these are, again, low levels, so they're not that bad. Um, 
I actually prefer to come to the jungle. A lot of people, I know a lot of people that come over here. As you can see, I actually did a little bit of exploring, um, but I didn't like set up any bases or do anything special. Uh, however, a lot of people come over to here, Sepa Maru. This is uh, one of the big cities, the uh, set city. They actually, especially with the newest update, they added a lot of stuff here, and they added a lot of stuff up here. Um, these guys are actually pretty hard hitting compared to like where we are right now. So I would actually come here. Okay, wrong buttons. There we go. I would actually, like I said, build a new river. Once you're done with the new river, you can a lot of sometimes when people move up here and like do this area and the the dens over here. These are two good thralling areas. Um, very popular. The black hand, the black galleon, and the den. You can get some name thralls there. It's a lot more rare nowadays than it used to be. Um, but they're not bad, and there's some like thrall camps right in here that aren't bad for like some some guys and you can build in this area um what i like to do is you can i stay down here i mean on a vanilla server you can stay down here until you're almost max level um it might take a little while i'd probably say like level 40 once you're like level 30 30 or 40 um if you want to stay to 40 stay to 40 i, I say you could probably safely move when you're like 25 30 come over here build in this area thrall here thrall here then you can move here if you want and then, then you move up in here, and then lastly, in this area, um, it's up to you. Some people just go straight here, or they go straight to the green. You can do it. It's definitely possible. It's a lot harder, and you will find yourself, um, a lot of times it's the people that know what exactly to do to level fast, even if you can't kill. Ooh, Archer level 3. Too bad I don't need you, but and what are you? You'll actually get a named fighter here quite often. Um, I say more times than not, I come here and there's a name fighter right there. Before we come up here. So, two worker thralls up there. Um, two armors this time around, but I'm, like I said, I'm pretty sure that you can get something else. There's almost always a named fighter here. Then you have fighters, archers, and over here on this campfire on this side... Let's see what spawns. We have a, oh, there you go. A named cook and a level one armor. You can get a blacksmith here, I believe. I don't know what else. So we got to get rid of this. Oh, shoot. Wrong one. Let's get the pike out so I don't accidentally. I'm going to try to kill him first. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> I should just, you know what? We should just do, I, sh I should do all my uh, thralling on recording for the videos because, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> we found that one name thrall or those two name thralls actually in the last one right was it two or three I think it was two and then I found a couple level threes after that but that was it and then the rest of my guys were level twos um, and I actually got a good amount of thralls on the, at the other base we stayed because like I said I wanted to stay there as long as I could until we decided to do episode three and move over here but the amount with the amount of I probably did like 30 runs um and I didn't find any more name thralls so other than some name warriors and stuff I don't really count them they're nice to have for defenses but I really only care about since I'm on a PV server and I only have to wa worry about the purge although we don't have any food I'll have to get some food actually wait oh that's what we should if I was thinking about it I would have been looting these corpses for Oh, I didn't pick this up. Oops. I'm sure one of these guys has food on them. So we'll have to do that. Yeah, we're getting pretty lucky with this. <laughs> it's actually kind of amusing. Ooh, Lemurian boots. Uh, nah. Yeah. Figures watch. None of them have... Alright, so we just move in a little bit so we can aggro a couple of them. See which is level one. Don't care. Okay, next. Carpenter level two. Mm, you know what? I will take the carpenter level two just so I have one. Because oh. I I have a higher level carpenter at the other base, but I did not bring that carpenter with me. So. Let's see what you are. The answer two, don't care. 
The answer two and cook one. Just kill these off real quick. And that's all of them. So this one right here is the one that's dressed. This is actually the priest of Derkelto. Um, it's the one of the other religions you can learn. So we're going to learn the religion. There you go. Now we learn. So we know Yogg and we know the Derkelto religion. Now where... Come, give me food. Somebody have food on them. Not a single one of these has food. Of course not. So, we can fix that, though. There we go. Five. We'll just go kill an animal and cook it real quick. It figures. And that's pretty much this, the whole area. As you can see, we got pretty lucky with the name Thrall. Um, but you can see armors. I know a blacksmith and an alchemist will spawn here occasionally too. Instead of two armors, you got an alchemist up there, and I think a blacksmith at the other fire. Um, I know, well, obviously a carpenter. I'm trying to think what else will spawn here. I don't believe a tanner spawns here. Okay, and we're back once again. As you can see, it's nightfall. Uh, I'll show you where we are on the map. And we are, we basically ran just down this beach. And we're right here on this little peninsula. So, we're going to do, oh, actually put it in my inventory slot. Is again, we're just going to put it right here. Again, in the open. Nothing's going to attack it. And we're going to put the food in. We're going to put the Taskmaster in. Again, these aren't real. Like, the Taskmasters really aren't real. They're like, it's more of just, oops, let's kill this thing real quick. So these guys look pretty bad, but they're really not any worse than, like, Crocs. They're actually probably a little easier to kill than Crocs. And the nice thing about them is, of course, I didn't bring a pick with me, but if you bring a pickaxe, you can actually get volatile glands from them, um, which is very nice because that's what you use to make explosive bombs, which you would, or... Explosive orbs, um, and you need explosive orbs to probably the most easiest thing to get, star metal. Um, or if you're on a PvP server, obviously, explosive orbs are pretty nice in that aspect, too. But, so the reason we came here is because you can see these little guys off in the distance, and I'm going to try, usually if you get close, for some reason, I don't know why, they always, they're always bunched up. But if Once you get a little close, you'll see them moving. They'll actually start spreading out to, like, their, like, patrol positions. Because um, unlike the normal thralls, these guys actually will walk around and kind of patrol. Um, it's usually a little smarter to actually come here with, like, a bow and arrow. But I'm not that smart. So, as you can see, Stormhold Soldiers. So this is an actual AOC. So, they hit a lot harder. So, you definitely do not want to get swarmed. Um, they fight a little more intelligently. Not too much, though. The AI is pretty much the AI. Um, at least they feel like they fight a little more intelligently. Maybe they don't. Um, and they have a lot more life. The cool thing about them is if you're actually trying to make AOC stuff, they actually drop AOC items. So there's a plant that's actually used in some specific. They actually dropped the gym tin coin. I don't do cooking in AOC. At least not yet. We'll play maybe play around with it eventually. So I'll leave the bag of flour. But the awesome thing is when you skin them, of course, this won't work right now. There we go. You get a lot more hide. Um, each faction, like I said, there are six different factions. Like, for example, I believe, I want to say, I think it's here. I can't remember. It's either here. Actually, yeah, I think it's here. Um, in this area, there's actually a bunch of elven factions. Or maybe it's over here. It's one of these two areas. Whatever. You can... You can Google it. You'll find it. Um, but you, there's the Elven faction. And then in this area, I believe, is the there's a Van Gogh faction. So each different faction drops different stuff. So this one, the, these guys actually drop the this plant. And they drop, uh, like, silver chalices also. Um, I don't remember what the other ones. I think the Elves drop, like, a lot of, like, moon dust type things. So, again, you want to be very careful not to aggro too many of them. 
And the nice thing about this area is most of these are going to be fighters and archers, which kind of sucks. Um, unless you're trying to actually get, because these will actually have more hit points than even a named fighter or archer. We aggroed three of them. Fun. Soldier, soldier. But there is going to be at least one. I'm being a little more daring right now, because why not? But there is going to be at least one uh, crafting uh, stormhold cre uh, person. This is what I didn't want to have happen is I don't really care so much about the fighters because they're easy to manage. It's the, the archer. That's the hard one. Oop. Didn't want this to happen. Woo. Go back here. And as you see, one of them had, a, I think, a sapphire on it. Um, they'll actually drop gems, too. I think the elves drop emeralds, usually. The Van Gogh drop uh, rubies. Maybe it's topaz. Um, so I think, actually, all the factions drop at least one, other than diamonds. Diamonds are the only ones you're not going to get. Um, mainly because diamonds are... You only get those through, like, the bosses and stuff, I believe. So, yeah, we get some Aurora Herb now and saf some sapphire shards, more coins. Nice thing is they drop coins, so you can actually get... A lot of coins pretty easy. There you go. There's some Lunar Hemp. This can be uh, just deconstructed down into, I believe, coins. Some of these, some of these things I've only done a handful of times, and I, am not, I haven't really tried it since they've uh, did a massive one of their massive updates in the last like month or two. Um, so, not sure if they changed it. Well, I guess we'll find out as we play along, right? So there you go. You can see right there. I don't. Well, maybe you can't see. I can't see though. Um, that is definitely a crafting throw, and it's a dancer, of course. But we'll get it. Because, so the AOC thralls, the crafting thralls, I would, I guess you can kind of uh, consider them, same with the fighters and the archers, they're actually tier 5, more or less. Um, the cool thing about the fighters is there is a Stormhold cap, or like, for Stormhold, there's a captain. Um, and that, you can kind of consider that almost like a tier 6. So anything you get, plus, I don't know if you, so I was like halfway through 61, now I'm almost full, and what we kill, like six, six or six people, five people. So again, let's get stuff off this one. Coins. Kind of care less about the, the hide, but we'll take it. If you have a scythe, you can actually get one of the AOC flowers with the yellow lotus flowers. And sometimes you can get a second AOC crafting thrall to spawn here. Sometimes. Most of the time it's just one and then a bunch of fighters and archers. I swear there's more fighters and archers, though. There's a snake. Glitched out. I guess not. I guess we killed them all. Now this is a this is what's considered a small camp. Um, there is an actual for Stormhold. There over here, there's the Stormhold and Van Gogh legendary camps. They're actually like big cities with like a probably like twenty or thirty of each faction's thralls. Um, the Elven one is over here, I believe, and then the Van the Van Gogh one's there. I forget where Felgarth is, and Cold Embrace up north. Uh, by where the snow is. Again, there's maps. Oh, there's another one right there. And you can actually see... So here's another Stormhold, and there's two elves. Those would be archers. I'm going to try my best not to mess with them. Well, actually, we could just go check real quick to see like what they are. They should be both the archers, though. Right, let's kill this... Gorilla real quick. Oops. There's my level. And gorillas give us thick hide. See? 
Oh, there's a... Well, we don't need that anymore. Now we have meat, right? Eh, let's... You know, let's kill the gorillas. Ooh, actually, the Stormhold's fighting the elves. So let's see. Elven archer. Stormhold soldier, elven archer. So we're going to kill you first. And I'm mainly going to do this for the stats. Now, the Elven Archers you going to be a little more careful with. They seem to... I believe they hit a little harder. Maybe not, though. You can probably hear my clicking on my mouse. <laughs> These guys hit. There you go. Let's get the thick hides. And there you go. Some cobalt, mystical potion, which is a nice ing crafty ingredient. Where's the other one? And he dropped mystical potion. And when we get when we get back to base, um, we'll take a look to see what some of these things entail to make. So I like this area, like I said, because it is very easy to get some. It, it's not as easy as if you to get like name thralls is if you want to like the legendary camps, but because it's a small area, there's only a handful here, very small chance of you getting aggroed by like 15 of them and getting overwhelmed and dying. Um, oh, the other thing too is chests. Do not forget to get these chests, gold coins. You'll see them all over in the jungle area, um, which is another reason I like to come here before I move north. And the main reason is because gold and silver, silver's a lot easier to find. Gold's a little more hard to find. Um, there are some spaces, and there are some gold nodes added in the Age of Calamitous. Um, but gold and silver are needed to make alchemical base, and alchemical base is pretty much needed a lot of it to make um, the epic armors. Um, I believe actually some of the epic weapons too, if memory serves me. Um, and the teleportation map that you get, that's all vanilla stuff. So you do need a decent amount of gold. There should be more chests that spawn over here. There you go. There they are. Silver. And these are just... So this is an actual... So this one's an actual AOC chest. We'll just take all of it because these cookies... The silver cups, those are all AOC specific. Let's just say there should be one more. I thought. Whenever you see boat wrecks, always look around. Um, but you will see a lot of the chests throughout the map. So it's very it's very handy. Um, when you do the pirate ship, which we'll go to next, uh, you will get a lot of gold. Well, you'll com you'll get a lot more gold and silver from thralls just dropping it. So it's very good ways to build up that base of it early. This is the one I checked earlier, right? Yes, okay. All right. So we're going to go back to the other base. We got one thrall. Um, like I said, it's a little easier to do because you, you leave, you come here, you, you kill a couple, you le you can level a little bit, um, and then you leave. Come back later. It's little by little, but it will help you level. Oh, there you go. There's some more. Two, there's two, two guys right there. They just spread out a little bit. See what we got. Two fighters. I'm just curious if the captain spawns. Nope. Nice thing is while they're focused on the the dead lizard or the lizard before it died, it stops them from focusing on me, which is nice. So I can get a couple hits in. Plus, another thing you could do is take one of your name thralls, like one of those those um name fighters I got in the starter area. You can take them here, and what a lot of people do is, if you're trying to kill them, just armor them up with heavy armor. Um, armor them up with heavy armor and a good weapon, and they'll just they'll help you basically tank through these guys. They'll take the aggro. You kill them from behind. Um, what you can also do is, if you're actually trying to thrall, Unfortunately, your name thralls have a tendency of killing everybody, even people you're trying to knock out. So what you can do is you can actually switch your name, th your 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 thrall followers' weapon 
to your your truncheon. And what they'll do is they're not going to kill anybody, but they will go around and they'll just knock people out. So if you maybe not the AOC camps, um, but through like the normal like where we did the throw on a few minutes ago over where Decato Religion is, um, you just have them go in there and they'll just start knocking everybody out. And then you can just kill the passed out people. And again, they'll still take the aggro and take the damage, but they have a lot more life and they'll take a lot less damage. And there's little camps up here. Um, one of these right behind this cliff, there's some Van Gool. Uh, we're going to ignore them. But this is basically the sunken pirate ship. Again, the, the fighters here are pretty similar to the pirate ship up in the desert um, as far as strength. They do drop better. The one difference is these guys will actually have panthers with them, which are annoying because they do get bleed. Um, so they will do some damage if you come here too low of a level. So there you go, silver coins. We were talking about that. I'm not going to skin them this time just for sake of speed. Um, but we're too worried about it. I will take the iron bars, though. Uh, let's go through the ship first. Let's kill this guy. See, he still hit me. Yeah. Aimbot. You can get a lot of good mats um, just clearing the ship real fast. Even if you're not... What I'll do is once I get like all the name thralls I need, or at least the majority of them, I'll just run through the ship a bunch of times, and I won't even loot. I'll just kill. Um, again, you can level pretty decent, as long as you bring some healing with you. But they drop a lot of stuff. A lot of iron. You get some decent weapons sometimes. Oh, pass by right by one. Didn't even notice. I think it's down. Yeah, there it is. It's a nice little chest here. Gold coins. There you go. You'll actually be surprised how much like gold and silver you can... Ooh, a task mess up at level 1, though, so I'm not even going to bother. Now, granted, I'm a higher level. Um, I'm already level 60. I think I just leveled to 62, so we're pretty high. Um, I did a good amount of playing between episodes... Probably a little more than I wanted to do originally, but it's more about the adventure than the leveling. It's not that hard to level once you start, like, getting mats and crafting. Especially in Age of Calamitous, in the vanilla. Um, if you if you craft Age of Calamitous structures, you'll level pretty fast just by making, like, foundations and walls. And making, like, hardened bricks is a really good way to level. Just so you can see, we'll skin these just if you're curious. So you get feline pelts. So this place is a little bit of a circle. Um, as you can see, we killed one carpenter and a slave master already. This is going to be a cook. And these all have the ability, I believe... I'm trying to remember what name throw. You can, I commonly get a lot of level 3s from here. Um, I forget which... What name... I think a Tanner spawns here. Level three, uh, level 4. Um, there's like 3 or 4 types of thralls that spawn here level named. Other than fighters. I don't ever include fighters. They are important, again, for PvP servers and stuff like that, but I personally don't care. So, a dancer and a carpenter. Again, both a level. Now, did I pass? I think I... Uh, uh. So there's a recipe you learn around here somewhere. I just, I think, oh, there it is. I see it now. Kill this guy real quick, hold on. Okay. Archers, man, I'm telling you. I'm just going to switch to the pike. Ooh. There you go. Some steel reinforcements. So when you come up here... Um, the best way to do it is it's a place that it splits off. There's a little a thing here, and then you can see the ramps here. 
on one of these benches, you see a book. If you hit E on the book, you actually learn Buccaneer. So what Buccaneer is, is if you go to your feats, you can actually see these things when you learn them. Um, I believe Buccaneer is an armor. Yep, right here. So you can do peg legs, black hand boots, eye patches, black hand earrings, and Buccaneer boots with peg leg, right foot, left foot. Uh, is there something else? I feel like there's another one. I, mean, I think it's just that one, actually. Yeah. So you don't want to miss that. That allows you to craft some of the cool pirate stuff. Another fighter. As you can see, a lot of fighter level threes. Um, and these guys do have a little bit more strength or life, I believe, than the ones in the desert. Um, again, maybe we'll do a video on that to verify the HP and strength and stuff of these guys versus some of the others. You can let me know in the comment section below if you're interested in seeing a video like that. The cool thing about up here is uh, a name thrall will actually always spawn up here. It's usually it's always a name fighter, but he will always spawn up here. There he is, Mr. Wave Runner himself. So it's a name fighter. He will always be up here because he's actually one of the. He actually drops these. These are actually I'm not going to take them, but this is one of the items you need to actually complete the story. Um, there is a story to this game. Uh, if you want to complete it, you actually do need to kill him. Come up here and kill him. So, don't forget this chest right here. As you see, look at that. An advanced blunted weapon fit. And so that's actually what I have on my steel truncheon right now. It increases the concussive impact, so it, you can knock thralls out faster. Um, so, another... And it's, it actually takes steel or hardened steel to make. Uh, so we're going to take the short way down. And the reason we're doing that is... People miss this all the time and they're not aware. If you actually come down here and you swim around the edges of this, right there. Chest. And look at that. A silver bar. Now you go, oh, that's, that's just one. That's pretty cool. That's just one. There's actually a couple that will spawn down here. I'm actually going to go back up real quick for air. There's some more of your brimstone. Yep, there's another chest right there. There's another chest right there. Get this one first. So as I said, a lot of people miss these. They're not aware of them. Um, there's probably more. I'm not going to keep swimming around at all. That's something I can definitely do offline, but I just wanted to show you all where it is. Some good stuff. And they'll always spawn in the same spot. So once you learn where they are, if you remember them, um, I just moved from area to area, and I've played in so many different areas that I can't remember where they all spawn. So normally I would climb off this and run around so I wouldn't have to actually keep swimming, but we're out of stamina, so no climbing. But as you can see, we got six silver bars, 15 gold, 31 silver coins. Um, so we got a decent amount. Those will actually crush into a decent amount of powder, which is used for the alchemical base. So now we clear out the ship. Well, that's why I'm all messed up. I actually usually have my spear in my one slot. I was like, why do I keep running my spear out? I'm using an axe because it's a little quicker to kill, and we're doing this for speed's sake, so. Okay, well, this might be bad. We'll soon find out in a minute, I guess. Ooh, Taskmaster. Oh, Arch archers. Of course, the sh archer is shooting me. No, I'm not going to dance or swing. I'm going to knock you out. Cool. Let's go kill the archer. Now, depending on your server, um, the wake time, when you knock a thrall out, there is an actual specific wake time. All you have to do is go into your server settings, 
um, in your in your menu, um, and you can actually see how long that is. It shows it in seconds, so obviously you just multiply it by 60 to see how many minutes. And again, I haven't really been checking these bodies, but some decent hides, armor. There's another chest. I'll take that. I'll take the rhino hides. Why not? Okay, so eh, we can probably get up there. Let's see if we can climb up here. There's an actual way to get up there to run around, but I'm just gonna climb, make my make it easier. Archer threes. Another chest. Some more guys over there. Let's see what we got. These are merchants, so you can't you're not gonna kill them. You would actually come here if you wanted to get Sand Reaper eggs. Please buy something. Shellbill eggs, which are the turtles, I believe, and the spider egg sacks. Let's kill oh, let me kill this cook real quick. There you go. So is it 10 gold coin? 10 gold coin. I think they're all 10 gold. Yep. Let's go. Hmm. Let's do. I'm trying to see how to get to the other side. How I want to do it. I really don't want to climb around. Let's do it like. There we go. We'll just use these little shade sails here to cheese our way up. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna run out of stamina. Now another thing. Um, that's not really obvious is when you climb, it's actually based. It's you think it's based on your encumbrance. So say like you're over encumbered, you you would think, oh, I'm gonna my stamina is gonna drain faster when I'm climbing, um, which is partly true. Um, but you would say, oh, if I'm holding, if I'm three quarters encumbered, I'm, my stamina is gonna drain faster, and that's actually not how it works at all. Um, being three quarters encumbered versus one quarter encumbered or having no carrying no weight is there's actually no difference in climbing and we'll demonstrate that real quick right here so let's see let's see how high we can get up before we get we lose half our stamina we'll say right to where it's even with the uh, thermometer point on my temperature gauge right there more or less so we're we're right where it starts to bend on this rock Okay. Now we're wearing medium armor, right? Same encumbrance, because I put it in my inventory. This doesn't give any encumbrance boosts. This gives vitality boost. So now... You can kind of noticeably see that it's dropping a lot slower. So encumbrance is actually based on what you're wearing. So if you're wearing heavy armor, I wouldn't even be able to make it up half that distance. Um, so a lot of times if you're wearing heavy armor, climbing is not the easiest thing to do, especially if you're trying to like just maneuver around the map or escape something. Um, so what you can do is if you just take off your armor, it's based on what you're currently wearing. So just take off your wet medium armor, you have your armor. Light armor doesn't really mess with encumbrance that much. I mean, it does mess with it a little bit. But all you gotta do is take it off. Oh. 
and you're good to go. All right, so this is the last little area of the pirate camp. We didn't really find anything. Oh, I totally forgot about that. So there's an armor and a cook. So the nice thing about this little trio of places here, I mean, as you can see, it's deep, it's a little bit of running here and there. Um, they're not super close together, but again, they're not really that far either. Um, so the nice thing is, by the time you finish the third, the your thralls the thralls should spawn. They should all be spawned at the first. So basically, you can just keep going. Okay, I'm stuck. Um, you can basically just keep going around in circles. It's obviously a little waste of time, a little uh, with the running and all that stuff. Um, where did we knock out that? Let me kill this guy. Yeah, see, these guys are already starting to respawn. I killed them when I first got in here. So, I mean, the thralls even in here are starting to respawn. Um, you could essentially do, like, clear out this place and then go... Like, I could clear out this place, go to the Degraeltar Island, come back to this place, clear out the Stormhold, back to this place. So, you could do this one in between. Um, and most vanilla servers... There you go. That's what we had was the Taskmaster. So, we did get something at least out of this. A Taskmaster for this wheel once it breaks. Taskmasters, when you put them in, the higher level Taskmaster, the faster other thralls will break inside your wheels. Um, if you get a name Taskmaster, your thralls will break really fast. Um, there you go. So as you can see, uh, we did some. Uh, we did the trio loop re real quick. Uh, the Jakarta Island, the uh, little Stormhold camp, and then the uh, Jungle Pirate Ship. Um, good places. Learned a recipe. Um, picked up some a name thrall, a Stormhold's AOC specific thrall, um, and a Taskmaster. So not too bad. We got lucky again on that. Um, showed you a little bit of the loops. Uh, why this is a good general area. Um, again, there's plenty of places over around here for uh, PvP thralling. If you want to do, if you want to do PvP, plenty of places to build PvP. Like um, you just have to do be a little bit more discreet than, like, say, this building, for example. But um, that'll be it for this episode. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. Uh, thank you again. Make sure you subscribe uh, with the button above or below, um, so you can get notified when the next episode and any more of uh, the Conan content comes out. Uh, if you liked the video, please hit the like button below. Um, if you have any questions or comments or just general suggestions for the next episode, uh, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. I do read them all. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, also, if you want to see more of the content, do stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Ragnarok Live. Also, we have an amazing Discord channel with great people in it. Um, we're talking about all different types of games in there, so definitely join that if you're interested. Um, links for both are in the description below, and I will catch you on the next episode.